Hi, my name is Daryl, and in today's video tip, I would like to discuss the importance of digestive enzymes. You may have heard the adage, you are what you eat, but the truth is, you are what you absorb. If your digestive system is not functioning properly and nutrients are not being absorbed, your body could be in a state of starvation and nutrient deficiency. Even as you consume healthy, nutrient-dense foods and take expensive supplements. Unfortunately, many of us are not able to fully absorb the precious nutrients contained in our food. And one of the primary reasons for this is low stomach acid. Fortunately, this is a condition that's easy to remedy in most cases. Low stomach acid is an overlooked cause of disease and deficiency. Hypochloridia, or low stomach acid, is linked to a wide variety of common digestive symptoms, including bloating, constipation, gas, nausea, heartburn, and acid reflux. It's also correlated with the gastrointestinal diseases, including IBS and Crohn's. But inadequate stomach acid doesn't just affect the GI tract. It can also cause a wide range of systemic effects, including acne, vertical ridging on the nails, foot and leg cramps due to malabsorption of minerals, leaky gut syndrome, food allergies, intolerances, asthma, autoimmune diseases, and chronic fatigue, low bone mineral density and osteoporosis, increased risk for cancer and cognitive decline. You might think of stomach acid or HCL simply as the acidic soup that helps to break down food. However, its role goes much deeper than that. Stomach acid is also needed to liberate and absorb key nutrients. HCL is required to properly absorb numerous essential nutrients including iron, copper, zinc, calcium, vitamin B9, vitamin B12, folate, vitamins A, C, and E. These nutrients have a wide range of disease preventing and health promoting effects. You want to help guard against pathogens and promote healthy gut flora with HCL. Food borne bacteria and pathogens are typically killed by HCL. Hypochloridia allows some harmful organisms to make their way into the intestines causing a wide range of issues. Adequate stomach acid is also important to prevent bacterial overgrowth that can occur when food ferments in the stomach for too long. When stomach acid is low, starches are improperly digested. These starch fragments can create microscopic holes in the cells that line the intestines, otherwise known as leaky gut. As undigested food particles leak out of the intestines into the bloodstream, the immune system reacts, causing issues ranging from allergies and asthma to autoimmune disease, chronic inflammation, and depression. HCL is required to activate pepsin, an enzyme responsible for protein digestion. As proteins are broken down into amino acids, they are used throughout the body for a wide variety of purposes, including creating neurotransmitters and repairing tissue. Without adequate HCL, mood disorders and depression can develop and slow healing or poor recovery from exercise can recur. Unfortunately, many people respond to the digestive effects of low stomach acid by taking antiacid. What's worse, doctors often misdiagnose hypochloridia, low HCL, as hyperchloridia, high HCL, and prescribe medications such as Nexium, Prilosec, Prevacid, Pepsid, Zantac, that further lower HCL levels, making the problem even worse. In addition to antiacids and other medications, low stomach acid can be caused by one, age. Your ability to produce HCL decreases about 1% each year. Two, stress. High levels of stress and stress hormones like cortisol can reduce the stomach's ability to produce HCL. And three, chemicals. A variety of common chemicals, including food additives and pesticides, can impair HCL levels. In addition to boosting your digestion and absorption of nutrients with HCL, it is also beneficial to drink a small amount of bone broth with meals to stimulate gastric juices and boost nutrient levels. However, be careful not to drink too much water with meals. Too much liquid during a meal dilutes HCL and digestive enzyme. Finally, be sure to eat slowly and chew your food well to reduce the stomach's burden. If you have any questions about today's video blog, you can send me an email. You can find my email on my website at www.darylcont.com. I want to thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you next time.